Doing good. A uh, couple of bad holes on this uh, front nine, but hopefully we'll pull it back. All right. <laughs> well, good luck, man. Great putt saves par. Fantastic putt. All right, how you doing? That was a great putt you just made. Thank you very much. What's your name? Dave Easton. Dave Easton, how you shooting today? Yeah, pretty mediocre, but that's average for me. All right, well, you just made it as a par save, if I'm not mistaken, it. man. That was a great putt. All right, well, good luck today. All right, thanks very much. Going right at it. Spin. It gets the back spin. Great shot. Just a little wrong. That was out of the bunker. It's a pretty good shot out of the bunker. Oh, that's a nice chip. That is just beautiful. Right into a couple of feet. It's gonna have that for birdie after an epic drive. That's a perfect tee shot right in the middle of the fairway. The elite group has caught up to the eighth green. Let's watch their approach shots. They've all hit tee shots. One is in the fairway. Chips it straight, smart play to the front left of the green. It's a good place to have to save par from. John Hoffman looks like he will hit first out of the fairway bunker. Found it with his tee shot. It's a good ball place to the middle of the green. Hits the middle of the green and slowly stops. And he will be putting for birdie out of the fairway bunker. Not terrible. Well, that's a good shot. It's going just left of the pin, but to the nice, safe landing area. And he'll have a great putt for birdie as well. And now Brian Gansert, with his primo tee shot, trying to capitalize on it. Looks to be only 70 yards out or so. Well, we sent it a little right and long. I know he wishes he could do a little bit better than that. Good. How you doing, Brian? I'm all right. A little better shot there. Wow, oh, beautiful chip. Wow. Nice shot, Jim. Looks like Jim Savar hit it to about three and a half feet to save par. I think he'll be pretty happy with that. Now, Brian Ganser. His third shot on this par four eighth. Just let it filter down. Oh, it couldn't quite get the hill. Left it a little short. It's gonna have a lot of work left to do to save par. Looks like John Hoffman will go next. He's putting for birdie. His tee shot was in the bunker. He had to play to the safe part of the green. Smart play. Get in. Oh my goodness, what a great putt. Oh, just missed, great putt, great putt. Par putt doesn't go and it's gonna have to make this two and a half foot putt for a bogey. He does. He's very disappointed, understandably, after such a primo tee shot. Oh, and he gets it to drop. Good putt. Nice par. John Hoffman with his par putt. John has won the senior championship here four times, he says, and been runner-up six. He's also a former club champion from Torrey Pines. Pretty impressive resume. 
and that putt is absolutely no problem. And a nice easy par for John. Nice, well. nice par, John. How many times did you say you've won the senior club championship before? I've won four. Runner up six. At Balboa? Yeah. Uh, I hope you don't take this the wrong way, but you don't look old enough to win, to be in 10 senior club yeah, champions. I've got like about four or five others where I was just hideous. I'm an old man. Well, you look pretty good, man. And uh, did, am I correct that you are also a past club champion of Tory Pines? Two-time club champion, you and Mike Marin. Well, that's pretty awesome, dude. Play well today. Six senior titles. Six senior titles and two club championships from Torrey Pines. We are at the ninth tee, the lead group, here in the 2024 Senior Club Championship. This is John Hoffman on the tee. Four time senior club champion here at Balboa Park. Well struck. Going just left. Needs to hang on. Looks, looks like it might have gone in the bunker. Couldn't really tell. Bill Gano hit it a little bit fat. It's going to be short. Not a terrible place to miss. I said, but it's cart golf. <laughs> now Brian Gansert on the tee. Par 3 ninth. Oh, Chris right at it. Well struck. Just left of the pin. Beautiful shot. Great shot, Brian. Nice shot. Oh, John Hoffman, beautiful bunker shot. Hits it to within about three feet. Tim Savar for par. Oh, just misses it. He's going to drop a stroke. Par. That's going to be a little short, too. Last I looked, I had you at plus three, and everyone. And the next guy was at plus four, but it's so close. Yeah, I, yeah, I shot even on the front, 36. Oh, well done. Good luck in the back. This is Hoffman for par. Oh, just didn't go. He's mad. Like an angry bear. That's too bad. Great tee shot by Brian Gansert. Low drawing line drive. It's going to run, run, run. Jim Savar. It up the left side. Looks like it should be fine. Should stay right of the trouble on the left. And now John Hoffman on the tee. Sends a big draw up the left side. It's a little left, but there's a lot of room over there. Not happy with it, but you should be able to find it. Our leader, Brian Gansert. A great tee shot on 10. Looking to close out the back nine of this final round of the Senior Club Championship. John Hoffman took a minute to get out the last of his anger. The disappointing missed short putt on nine and a bogey dropped him one further back of the lead but you can see him now making his way down it's a long lonely walk for john of course it's not that lonely he has won two 
Torrey Pines Golf Club Championships, four Balboa Park Senior Club Championships before. He's a winner. Jim Saibar, a great tee shot. Hits a rope. Let's see where that ends up. Oh, it did. It cleared the bunker. It's going to be a great shot. Going right toward the pin. Now Brian Gansert also hit a wonderful tee shot. Couldn't quite see it come down. Well, as we try to find Jim's ball, John Hoffman now hits his approach. Wind is carrying it just left, but he looks like he's going to be beautiful on the green. And he will be putting. No, it's not. No, it's not. What? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Hold on. We couldn't find Jim's ball. And where is your ball? In the hole. What? No way. That's incredible. What did you get on that hole there? Two. I'm sorry. Say that one more time. A deuce. A deuce. He holds it from how many yards did you have on that shot? I had 146. From 146 out. Wow. What a golf shot. I mean, when you decided to check the hole, you didn't actually think it was going to be in the hole. Unless you're that good and that's happened before. What a shot. And Jim Saivar gets an eagle two on the 10th hole. Brian Gansert. Oh, a nice putt. Not even sure John Hoffman saw that. John Hoffman, his birdie putt. Seeking, seeking, and he's gonna miss it just right. Nice tap in. Incredible. <laughs> Jim, when I said nice shot, I actually thought your ball was in the middle of the green. Turns out it was in the hole instead. No, I, I thought it was close to the pin, but I thought I was worried that it would be, oh, I, you never expect it to be in the hole. Has that happened before where you've said, oh, check the hole and it's in? Because that, that doesn't happen to us very often. Well, congrats, man. Great score. Jim Saivar, after an eagle, two from 146 out on the 10th hole, takes the lead in the Senior Club Championship. John Hoffman was asking what he got. He said, you got a birdie, right? He said, no. No, I got a two. John said, oh, I, I must have missed it. Oh, he's a little excited. He pushed that one way out to the right. But it should get far enough where, you know, we've had that shot before. Brian with a great drive. Trying to shake off the fact that a par on 10 actually cost him two strokes. Now Hoffman on the tee. <clears throat> he parred 10. Gonna have to check the leaderboard in a minute to see. I think things just got real interesting here. That's a good drive. Bill Gano will be next on the tee here at 11. Good hit. That'll stay on the right side of the fairway safe. Jim, what a shot. One of the most incredible shots in club championship final round history. For those of us who play with Jim, that's a normal shot. You get one of those around. You see, and there it is. Uh, guys like me, and I, you know, 18 handicap. I think that's one of the most amazing, epic things ever. But for these guys, it happens every day. Yeah, he hits it close all the time. Sometimes it goes in, sometimes it stays up. So, John, as a past club champion for Tory, have you heard the news? Our club champion, Mike Marin, has agreed to a rivalry match with the current club champion of Tory Pines. Nick Neal? Yes, Nick and Mike are going to go one round here, one round there oh, okay. for the Battle of the Muni. I tell you, Nick is an exceptional player. 
and so is Mike, for that matter. I remember, because I used to run the club championship, that uh, Mike was close so many times. And I think the first time he broke through was maybe five, six years ago. That sounds about right. I think it was 2019. I know he won twice. Nick Neal's won twice, both at Torrey, and now Mike has won twice here. Well, right. Well, Nick beat me in the finals two or three years ago. Oh, really? I was lucky to get to the finals, and it was really no match. This is a gross tournament, right? Not a net tournament. That's really impressive. So who do you think wins if one round at Balboa, one round at Torrey? Well, you know, I don't know how much Nick has played here. Ah, and that's the secret, isn't it? That's the secret. So I think, I mean, I, if I recall correctly, I think Nick is nine under par. That's the number I've heard. At four you know, south and north. That's pretty tough to beat. He does look like a serious player. And I can tell you he's excited for the match. They're actually going to have a practice round here on Wednesday, October 9th. So, you know, answer your question. strong and long, you'll have no problem. I would go, no offense to Mike, but I would go with Nick. All right, well, you heard it here. The prediction by two-time club champion of Tory, four-time senior yeah, club champion. It won't be because Mike is under his overmatch, it's just that Nick is so good. He is, he is by far the best, I think, mid after around here. It certainly seems that way. Well, play well, John. We're rooting for you. Yeah, it'll be an interesting match. Hopefully you broadcast it. That's the whole intent. It's not going to be live. It'll be recorded. But that'll make it even better because the quality will be better. Mm -hmm. Which round is first? You know, we're still working out the details. We just know there's a practice round October 9th here at Balboa. And it looks like they're going to try to invite Mike to play in, this, in the Tournament of Champions in March at Torrey and he, he will most likely be bringing a plus one, Ryder Cup style, and picking Josh Van Doon as his uh, co-pick. So, uh, and Matt Reagan. So they're gonna play a tour? I think that's also still being worked out. Do you know Matt Reagan at all? Oh yeah, very What's, good player. He shot, he shot under par in our senior championship. In fact, he shot under par himself. That's a great time. He's gonna be Nick's partner. So it's gonna be Nick and Matt against Mike and JVD. Wow. Wow. Couldn't have said it better myself. It's going to be pretty cool. It's going to make history here in San Diego. That's well struck. That's going right at the pin. Be the number. Hit the green. It's going to roll a little left. It sticks. I got to believe he's happy with that shot. What a crisp shot. Just to the right. It lands on the green. It spins a little right instead of left, but he'll be putting. Now Hoffman with his second shot. I think a lot of people underestimate how skilled of a competitive golfer John Hoffman is. To win two club championships, not senior, but regular, at Torrey Pines. He's always in this final group. And absolutely one of the most talented golfers over the age of 65 here in San Diego. Oh, that's well struck. Be the club. Be the club. Be the club. Be the club. Stop. Oh, it just went just a little long. It was right at it. Right at it. The uh, format is still being discussed. The format is still being discussed. Uh, the, it's likely to be uh, each round is two one-point individuals and one three-point better ball with a front, not back, and a mid. So five points per round, tiebreaker being low best ball over 36. But uh, we still are working it out, and we've got a Tory. Remember what I said, if you've got two people that know Belbo, which obviously the Bell, Mike and his partner know Belbo better than Matt and Nick, that could be the difference. Because at Tory, you can kind of just wail away, and you know, you'll find your ball. It might be in some long grass, but you'll find your ball. You can't, you can't do that here. It doesn't quite have the uh, 
That looked like a good shot, just went long, but it was right at the pin. His tee shot was way right and had some trouble with the trees. Just missed. He's gonna have about two feet left to clean up his par. Should be relatively straightforward. Looks like John Hoffman will be next, his third shot coming up. Get in. Oh wow, great putt. I mean, missed it by an inch, tap and par. And I'll tell you, that is not an easy place to putt from. Great speed control by our four-time senior club champion. Now it's Bill Gano. What a putt. What a putt by Bill. Just missed. Oh, he might actually have a six now. That might be a double. That's too bad. Well, he got a two and a six. A little more stressful than a four and a four. Brian cleans up his par. as we make our way toward the beautiful 12th hole. Now it's Jim Sevar. Beautiful. Just um, off the left side of the fairway into the rough, but I can see it. So we should have a pretty safe shot. Now Hoffman on the tee. Uh, that looks like it's going straight down the middle. Now perfect, left side of the fairway. Oh, so that left side of the fairway is just bare enough that a ball doesn't stop. It just trickles into the little bit of the rough. So John Hoffman will be the first to play on this, the 12th hole. Got about 160 yards out. He's in the just in the left rough. It's to a front pin placement. Let's see what he chooses to do here. Oh, he just rolls it up the front. Smart play. Just trickles to the edge of the fairway. Maybe 20 feet away from the pin. He could easily putt it from there. With his putting, pretty good chance at birdie. Hoffman currently two back of the leaders at plus five. Brian and Jim Savar tied at plus three. Now Jim Savar, he's got about 140 yards to the pin. Going right at it. Be the number. And what a beautiful golf shot. But it rolls out. It's gonna be a, a tough putt. You know, it looks beautiful. And then it just keeps rolling, keeps rolling. The next thing you know, you have a big downhill putt. And now Bill Gano. Oh, just short of the green. About 90 yards out, Brian Gansert our co-leader for the tournament. It's 
plays it into the wind. The wind is going to kick it right to the left, hits the spin, hits the brakes, and he's going to have the closest birdie putt of them all. Brian in great shape here on the 12th hole. John Hoffman. Looks like he's putting from just off the green. This is his birdie putt. Good roll, stay up, right on target. Oh, it's gonna be a nice, easy tap in par for John Hoffman. Four time senior club champion. That Even that one is in his range. Just trickles down. So close. Gotta be so delicate with that. Up, Bill. Bill Gano will go next. He would like the flag stick to be left in. It's a good lag. He was probably trying to make it though. Be an easy tap in par. Just went in. What a putt! Great. Four. Brian, what a save. Huge. Maintains his spot on top of the leaderboard. I am so fucking. Thirteenth hole at Balboa. Par three. Tees are about 105 yards to the pin, playing about 99 into a little bit of a wind. Oh, it looks right at it. Be the club. Oh, little backspin. Landed it right next to the pin. A little backspin brought it back. It's going to be 10, 15 feet for birdie. It's a great shot. Have a nice uphill putt. The wind really took it in the air and just stopped and dropped right there. And now Brian. A little left of the pin. Come down, ball. Oh, a little long. Wow. I think he thought the wind was going to do more with it. He was a little surprised. Well, but... Jeez, well. Wow. Just but aren't quite sure how to play the wind on this hole. It definitely affects you more than you think. You know, it looks like a nice easy downhill par three. But it just never plays it. Oh, John, it's a good ball. A little turn into the left. But it's a safe shot. Oh, no, actually it kind of got stuck up. Up in the little bear patch up on the hill underneath the bush. Might be a tough lie. See if John can work some of his magic. Now Jim Savar. Is it out to the right? Distance is okay. Yep, safely on the front of the green. No problem. Bill Gano. Great. Birdie by Bill. Brian Ganser just missed his putt left. He'll have an easy tap in for par.
John Hoffman for his par. Good putt. Good up and down. John saves par. Jim Savar on the tee. Hits a drive. Looks like it's going straight down the middle. Beautiful. Fairway. Upslope. Now John Hoffman on the tee. Hits a great tee shot. Big, booming shot. Hits the right edge of the fairway. Cart path. Gets the big roll. And he's going to be inside at 250. He's going to be about 240 out. Very nice, John. Brian Gansard on the tee. Tied for the lead. And that's a perfectly fine place for his tee shot to be. Jim Savar choosing his club. Just gets it onto the green. It's his third shot, so he's not happy. Should be able to make par from there, though. Bill Gano will go first off the right side. Oh, beauty. Beauty. Third shot from about 55 yards out into a back pin, wind in his face. He's got to get it close, doesn't want to go past. It's a spinner, and it, it bounces one and checks safely below the hole. Makeable birdie putt. John Hoffman putting for birdie. Just misses it left. Won't do any damage. Have that to tap in for par, I believe. Jim Saivar decides to go with a wedge and chip it. Instead of a putt, he's just into the long grass. Such a delicate shot. Wow, well played. Beautiful shot. Had to be so delicate with that, and he did. Brian Ganser. Why not? Wow, what a putt. That is an incredible putt. I believe that is a birdie and gives him a one stroke lead. Bill Gano. Hmm, it's gonna run a little long. Good putt. John Hoffman for his par to stay at five over par for the tournament. Good putt. And now Jim Savar. Putt, Jim. Is that a par? Yeah. Nice par. Brian Gansert now on the tee on the 15th hole in this final round of the Senior Club Championship. Brian's birdie on the 14th brought him to two over par on the tournament and a one stroke lead. Oh, he takes a line drive right at the corner. It went right of one tree. I think he might have a shot. The question is whether he'll have trees blocking him. And now Bill Gano. It's a lovely shot. Straight ahead. A little bit of left to right wind carrying it, but nice and in the fairway. Beautiful shot. And now Jim Saivar, one shot off the lead, plus three for the tournament. Ooh, a little inside out swing. Shouldn't hurt him on this hole though. Yeah, it's gonna be just into the little bit of the rough on the right hand side, but it's such a short hole. 
you won't have much to come in from there. John Hoffman on the tee. Oh, beauty. Beauty. Right to left draw. Right in the fairway. Great shot, John. Oh, beautiful shot by John. Be right. Be right. Be right. Be right. Oh, that almost went in. Wow. John Hoffman. This is Brian Cancer. Did he get relief? Was he on a sprinkler? Did you see or something like that? No, I, th I saw him take a drop, and if he's taking a drop there, it must have been from a sprinkler. So here's his second shot here with a one-stroke lead on the 15th hole. You called it just short, didn't quite trickle on. Brian Ganser, chip. Oh my gosh, he almost hold it. Wow, hits the stick, bounces out. That would have been spectacular. He's gonna have that left to clean up for his par. Jim Savar for birdie and share of the lead. And it drops. Clutch putt by Jim. Brings himself to three over for the tournament. Tied with Brian Gansert. Brian has a short putt for par left. Hoffman. Gansert putting for par to remain at three over. Tied for the lead. Great putt, nice par, and we have co-leaders going into 16 at plus three. Jim Savar has honors after a clutch birdie on 15, brought him into a tie for the lead. Safely on the right side of the fairway, smart play. That was Jim Savar, yeah. So he's safely in the fairway. John Hoffman. John is at plus five for the tournament, two strokes back of the lead. Beautiful shot on the left side of the fairway. Well placed. Well, so far we have two in the fairway. Now Bill Gano on the tee. Another nicely well played shot. Oh, it's gonna land right near Hoffman's. Yeah. Left side of the fairway, nice and safe. Is everybody hitting a fairway metal or do you, I don't see anyone with a driver yet, right? No, I think they're hitting uh, rescue plugs or um, three wood hybrids, kind of hybrids. hybrids. Yeah. When you're tied for the lead on the 16th hole, you, you, you want to keep it safe. You want to keep it very safe in play. This is Brian Gansert, our co-leader. Right Nicely placed. Oh, beautiful shot. Perfect. Get just into the rough, but great shape. Absolutely great shape. Thank you, Larry Barron, for your help as always. Talk about golf knowledge, our own former senior club champion. And an incredible help around this golf course, keeping pace of play and the conditions of this course in immaculate conditions. Thank you, Larry Barron, for all you do for this golf course and this golf club. Bill Gano at, I believe, 10 over for the tournament. So it's not really in contention, but Still a beautiful day for a round of golf. A shot safely down the fairway. Now John Hoffman, second shot. Oh, beauty. 
Brian Cancer tee shot just cleared the tree. He's left of it. He's got a good 300 yards in, so he's going to lay up. Just make sure that keep this safe. Oh, it's going right. No, it's not. It's going to just catch the correct edge of the path. And he's safe. Very nice shot. Brian Gansert hits the green. Starts to roll a little bit and stops. Well, John Hoffman. Oh, the, did you see the wind take that? Hit it up into the wind, pulled it way. I mean, it's still on the green, but the wind pulled it a good 20 feet left. Just gonna keep going into the wind and down the hill. Great touch. Looks like I left that to tap in for par. Heading into the 17th hole, Senior Club Championship. We have a tied at the top of the lead, two holes to play. Brian Gansford, Jim Sivar, the 17th tee at Balboa Park. Final round of the Senior Club Championship in 2024. We have an incredibly close match. Gansford on the tee, co-leader at plus three. Jim Sivar also plus three for the tournament. One back, John Hoffman, lurking. Come on, wind. Sends it right of the pin into the wind, which is a great play. Pin is in the back. Hard to tell where that ended up. Might be close. You can hear Brian on the green but on the right edge. Certainly not an easy birdie putt. John Hoffman on the tee needs to do something. John Hoffman sends it out right. Looking for a little wind. It's gonna hit that hill, kick down. And we'll have to see how far it ends up. He wants it to get closer. That back pin location Short left of the big tree, he says, on John Hoffman's shot. I think he'll have plenty of room to chip from there. Now Jim Sivar, co-leader, at plus three for the tournament. Oh, it's right at it. Oh, just a little right. But that certainly looks like a good shot. Looks like Jim Sivar has a Good birdie opportunity here to take a lead. But right now, man, it is close. Bill Gano. Hits it out to the right hand side. Everyone knows you don't want to miss left. Hits it on the nice little hill. See if it can kind of trickle its way down toward the green. Don't make fun of the bucket hat. It's like 95 degrees out here. Gotta stay safe. Bill Gano huts it down the long hill and up the green. Leaves it just about five, six feet short. Now John Hoffman needs to get this close. Just a little high side. It's going to be a tough Brian Gansert putting for birdie to take a one stroke lead in the senior club championship. Uh, left himself about two feet. A pill putt should be pretty straightforward. 
Jim Savar for the outright lead if he makes this birdie putt on 17. Two little hops and a skip just left. And he'll have a little tap in for par to remain at three over for the tournament. Nice par, Jim. Bill Gano will putt next. Putting for his par. Stretch. Leaves it just short. And now John Hoffman has to make this par putt to stay one shot back of the lead. If there's anyone in this entire club who can make this putt, it's John Hoffman. Ah, oh, he missed it, and he knows he's disappointed. Got to wait for it to stop. He does. And he's going to tap in for a bogey four. Drop two shots back at Jim. Brian needs to make this to remain at plus three and co-lead for the tournament. Yes, that is a very clutch putt. Nice par. We go to the 18th tied. And here we are. The final round. The final hole, 2024 Senior Club Championship for Balboa Park Golf. Co-leader at three over for the tournament, Jim Saivar. Oh, he hits it right where you want to hit it on the 18th hole, right down the middle. Primo, beautiful shot. Bill Gano on the tee on the 18th hole. It's a nice drop the right side. Should get a kick. Oh, he gets a cart path kick. Hello. A second cart path kick. Double cart path fairway. Double cart path fairway. Just what do you know, Bill Gano? And now John Hoffman. Plus five for the tournament. Going iron off the tee. It's a nice shot at the left side. Should be fine. If it sits down, he won't be blocked by a tree. John, who has shot his age twice already and has literally walked this entire course two days in a row without even a push cart, gives this man some props. Now Michael Gansford on the tee, co-leader at plus three for the tournament. Got a little rescue hybrid club. All he's trying to do is just put it in the middle. And he does. Beautiful shot. Beautiful shot. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, oh, oh. Start, start, start. My cart, my cart is bouncing around. Okay, there we go. We're back. Thank you. Heading up the 18th hole. <laughs> trying to keep our carts online. This is a full contact sport. I need more practice with this. I mean, I've done it going forwards, but oh, going right, backwards. Right, right. Oh, oh, no. Oh We've got man down, man down. This is a tough hill to walk. No joke. Look at all four of these tee shots. All within about 10 yards of each other. That's impressive. Let's see who's going to be first to play. Looks like Jim Savar might be. Oh, oh, it didn't quite hit it cleanly. It's going to leave it short. Oh, 
Hoffman. Wastes no time. Slips, gets a heck of a bounce. I mean, that bounced directly toward it. Michael Gansford, after seeing Jim's shot come up short, Michael knows that if he puts this on the green, he has a really good chance of winning. Got about 125 yards to the center of the green, maybe 115 to the front pin, but playing about 125, 120 at least. Hits it up the right side. Oh, it's strong. You know, it's going right at it. If it's the number, oh, that looks like it's a spectacular shot. Let's see how close it gets. You think that's a little short? A little short, but I'd rather be below the hole. Absolutely. Down to the putting. Bill Gano off the double cart path bounce. Has only about 70 yards to go. A nice clean shot. Let's see where it is. Just left of the pin, but well struck. The 18th green, Balboa Park. The final round of the 2024 Senior Club Championship. Jim Saibar will be first to play our co leader at plus three for the tournament. Oh, very nice. Left it below the hole. Has about three and a half feet for par. Now John Hoffman, plus five for the tournament. Pace is quickened for him now that he's got a two-stroke disadvantage. Oh, little chip, a little run. I'm going to roll out to about four feet for his par. And now Michael. Needs to hold this to win. Up and down will likely force a playoff. Oh, nice chip. Get close, get close. Very nice. That's about three feet left for his par. Oh, look at that. Oh, just misses. Just misses. Nice putt. An easy tap in par. Nice try, looks like looks like Jim Saivar will have his par putt. Jim, our co-leader at plus three for the tournament. Sidebar for par. Clutch putt. And he makes four. That is for par. He finishes at plus three. If Brian makes this putt, it will force a playoff. But first, Hoffman will try to clean up his own par at remaining five over for the tournament. Nice par by John Hoffman, four-time senior club champion and two-time Torrey Pines regular club champion. And now Brian Gansford needs this putt to force a playoff. If he misses, Jim Sivar will be your 2024 senior club champion. If he makes it, it will go to sudden death. the playoff. And 
he makes it. Wow, those are two clutch putts, and we are gonna go to extra time. Playoff golf. Well played, gentlemen, well played, and we are not done. We have two leaders at plus three. Spectacular golf out there, but it's not over. It's not over. Extra golf, free golf. Now we're gonna clear the green, keep the place of play going. And here they are, your leaders. After regulation, Brian Gansford and Jim Saibar. Well played, gents. We are at the first tee and the 37th hole, free golf. Bonus golf. This is the final round of the Senior Club Championship. We were tied after 36 holes. Our two leaders, Brian Gansford and Jim Saivar, plus three for the tournament. We now go sudden death to the first tee at Balboa. A big shout out to our buddy Frank in the pro shop running such a great operation here at Balboa Park Golf Course. I even bought my hat today from him. Remember, if you are a member of the Balboa Park Golf Club, you get 10% off merchandise at the pro shop. Just tell Frank you heard about it on YouTube. Anyway, a big shout out. Thank you very much to all the people who work hard to keep this golf course running as smoothly and looking as beautiful as it does and they do. Shout out to our co-leaders, Epic Golf down the stretch, tied after 36. Awesome golf to watch. If you're enjoying what you're seeing, give us a like. Please subscribe so that you will be one of the first to know the next time we air one of these epic videos. This is Josh Wins 13, the official voice of the Balboa Park Golf Club. Thank you for watching. Kick his ass. So this is the sudden death playoff to determine the 2024 Senior Club champion. Going old school, they flip the tee to see who goes first. It looks like looks like Jim will have honors as a result of the tee flip. Both players with epic rounds. Clutch putts on 18, forcing the playoff. And here we are. Sudden death playoffs for the Senior Club Championship. 36 holes wasn't enough. Our two co-leaders, Brian Gansford and Jim Saivar, finishing the 36 hole tournament at plus three. Now head back to the first tee for sudden death playoffs. And Jim Saivar, who won the tee flip or lost the tee flip, depending on your point of view, will have honors. Oh, gorgeous tee shot down the left side of the fairway. Absolutely perfect line. Yeah, this guy's tough. Absolutely perfect. Jim Saivar, who has shot his age more times than he can remember. 79 years old. Absolutely made some of the most spectacular golf plays. We were just looking at John Hoffman earlier, who has shot his age twice, 67 and 69. Man. And now Michael Gansford on the tee. Toward the bunker, it needs it to draw, it needs it to turn. Oof, it looks like it may have gone in. We'll see what happens. I asked Jim Saivar how many times he shot his age. He says if he doesn't shoot his age, he loses a lot of money. That's impressive. Well, as we thought on the tee, Michael Gansford did find the bunker. And he gets it out of the bunker and he's, oof, has a little bit of trouble. Ends up well short of the green. And Jim, it's yours to lose now. He's in the middle of the fairway, puts his ball in the center of the green and two putts, and he will likely be our next senior club champion. Jim's got, oh, maybe 90, 100 yards max. Absolutely perfect position on this first hole.
well struck. Oh, lands it beautifully on the green. Oh, inside 10 feet for birdie. Right, now Brian Gansford has about 35 yards after having trouble getting out of the bunker. He needs to go up and down to have any chance of forcing a second hole. Needs it to stop. Oof. And that's gonna keep rolling. He's gonna leave himself about 15 feet for par. Well, with all the drama of the 36 holes, it may come down to a fairly easy two putt for Jim Sivar, but it was well earned. Brian Gansford for par needs this. Oh, he's missed it left by a lot. And he's going to have a good two and a half feet left for bogey. And now Jim Sivar, two putts for the championship. First putt, nice and easy. He's gonna have a tap in for par. Congratulations, our 2024 Senior Club Champion, Jim Sivar. Jim, well played. Let's Thank get you. off this green and see how awesome you feel. How, how do you feel, Jim? I feel, I feel fantastic for a 79-year-old man. <laughs> Man, I, I about as good as about, about as good as a 79 year old man can actually feel. You played outstanding today. You should be proud. I know that after you hold out on 10 from 146 yards, you came back with a double to get an eight the hard way. I did, yeah. But you held it together, rock solid, including some clutch, clutch putting on 18, and found yourself in a playoff hole. And congratulations, you are the Balboa Park Golf Club 2024 Senior Club Champion. How does it feel? You know, it, uh, it, it feels great to, uh, to get a little revenge from Brian because he took me down a couple of years ago and uh, uh, it's always nice to win. All it's I know, always hard to win. It, it's never there, easy. There so. are a lot of anyway, really good he's golfers. He's a great competitor and a great guy, so we had a great match. Today. Well said. Brian is also a spectacular golfer. Thank you. Thank you, Brian. I know you didn't quite get there, but you know, after, after two, after two rounds, you were tied for the lead. Oh, hey, I shot a 72. I mean, I, I can't, can't hope for anything more than that. So that was awesome. Hey, man. I got beat. I didn't lose it. I got beat. And that's the way I wanted it to happen. That, so well, well Jim played. played great. And he was a great competitor today. So it was great. I had a blast. Appreciate everybody for putting this together. Oh, you guys were the best. Thank you so much right. for making it the, by far the most epic playoff golf we've gotten here on video at Balboa Park <laughs> Golf Club. Thank you, sirs. Congratulations, Jim Savar, our 2024 Senior Club Champion. Thank you for watching. This is Josh Wins 13, and I'm out.